so the first and foremost question that comes in everybody's mind is that which skills are required by a cloud engineer let us see that so if i talk about the traditional days a decade ago these used to be the individual roles of engineers so there used to be a system admin or a linux administrator there used to be a database administrator and a network engineer and these uh, these are these these were individual engineers or individual roles that existed at that time so these people used to be expert in their in their domains and uh, every organization has a set of administrators and separate engineers into separate roles but today if i talk about the skills of a cloud engineer so the the domain of a cloud engineer is pretty vast than a traditional engineer on a on a particular skill but you see that the old tech is still the foundation in cloud computing that means all the old technology old technologies or old role, old roles that i have shown here for example a system administrator a database admin or a network engineer okay so these things these skills are still required for a cloud engineer so networking is required database management is required linux administration is required then uh, security and recovery will also cover linux and uh, database things like that right and then there are there is an addition of few new skills or a few new technologies like devops containerization net, uh, and virtualization and all right so as a cloud engineer now you you don't have to be an expert in everything but you need to know a bit of everything uh, if you are into the cloud role so cloud is nothing but actually the same systems on someone else's uh, data center so basically you still have your linux servers your databases your networks but that is not present uh, in into into your machine okay that is present somewhere else remotely so still you have to troubleshoot each one of these things you have to configure and deploy these these uh, these systems that's why you need to know a bit of everything as a cloud engineer now let me make it easy for you actually these skills are a combination of two things fundamental skills plus platform knowledge so you should be able to differentiate what is a fundamental skill and what is a platform specific skill or platform knowledge so fundamental skills i have put two things which you just cannot skip if you want to learn technology technology by uh, i mean from technology i mean uh, anything that is related to uh, cloud or software or it or systems so linux and networking these are the two fundamental skills that you just cannot skip linux is everywhere without linux there is no cloud there is nothing which can be imagined and without networking you just cannot proceed if you are, it doesn't matter whether you are a developer you are a deployment engineer you are uh, a systems or a solution architect a systems engineer anyone if you don't know linux and networking you just cannot grow in your tech career remember these this thing okay so two skills are fundamental skills that is linux and networking which are required at any cost then we have platform specific knowledge so in case of private cloud the two platforms that are widely used in 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 market or in industry are open stack and vmware so if you want to develop yourself into the private cloud area you need to uh, you need to learn either open stack or vmware or a combination of both if required and fundamental skills you need anyway and if you are trying to develop yourself into the public cloud area then you need to know any one platform out of azure aws or google cloud okay so without these platforms knowledge you cannot proceed into the public cloud domain there is a third skill <coughs> okay so before going to the third skill i would like to emphasize that these two platforms are widely used in telcos so uh, for a telco cloud engineer or for an nfe engineer uh, knowledge of at least one of these platforms is mandatory then there is a third skill which is which is kubernetes nowadays and i have put kubernetes more closer towards the fundamental skills 
and far from the platform knowledge see kubernetes is not a platform specific thing it is a generic platform used to manage or orchestrate containers so in today's time i i strongly believe that kubernetes also comes under a fundamental skills category so first you need to know uh, linux and networking and then you need to you need to learn kubernetes uh, if if you want to proceed into cloud computing area doesn't matter whether you you uh, want to grow in public cloud or private cloud but kubernetes is something that you cannot skip so i have put it a little above the fundamental skills but far from the platform knowledge because kubernetes is present everywhere so kubernetes is present on openstack on vmware on azure on aws on google cloud everywhere the next question that comes in in your mind in your mind is that should i learn public cloud or private cloud because uh, we are making this comparison uh, since quite a while so it is natural to have this question in mind let's see 